Hi, my name is Riley Chase, and today I'm going to show you how to do threading with your NetMiko script. That way you can run all those commands on your network devices at the same time instead of uh, waiting for the output of one script uh, to finish before you log into the next network device. So when I was looking online, I uh, didn't find too much information about how to do this, but what I did find is this uh, gist with a little example here of threading in NetMiko. And uh, it turns out, um, looking into the author of the script, actually, he's actually the author of NetMiko. So he put out a little gist here on um, a short, really nice, simple example on how to do threading. Um, and so I'm making this video to kind of explain this script because it wasn't obvious to me at first, but after looking at it for a few minutes, I figured it out. Basically, um, this, this, uh, this main part of it, this is where it starts all the threads. This uh, d um, definition or define SSH session, this function right here is what each thread does. So if you look at uh, main, um, setting up like output queues and stuff, and then this part's important right here with open routers.csv. So you could do like um, a list or whatever you're pulling each of your host names for, which routers to log into, you're going to put that here, and then um, you're going to do a loop right here. So for basically router in routers. Um, or for row and router dictionary, you can um, you can start a thread. So my thread equals threading dot thread target equals SSH session. So start a thread with the target um, being SSH session. So that's this function right here. So all these threads get started, and this is what the thread's doing. And then it's passing the argument of row, which is basically giving it the host name of uh, which router to connect to. So you'll see hostname equals row hostname and then the router connects to um, hostname so um, basically that's pretty much it that's how it works um, I tried to simplify this even a little bit more to make it even more simple and also put a little more comments into um, what's actually going on so you can better understand it and um, I'll put a link in the description this is my um, github uh, repo that I made. I hope that was helpful for you and if you need any help with um, writing some automation scripts for your network let me know I'd be happy to help. Thanks.